Yo, 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 people, people, I've got a lot of explaining to do, right? And it's not going to be done in the next 30 seconds of this. I don't want to keep you guys too long. The video is long and I've a juicy pack opening. I'm going to be giving away a bunch of gift cards. As you can see on the screen right now, um, I mean, to be fair, it makes sense, doesn't it? I've got too many. I've got too many. So if you want to enter for a chance to win some of these gift cards, comment on this video in the comment section down below. Hashtag Tass back, because yes, Tass is back. For FIFA 21, a year out of the game. A year out of the game. I mean, that's all I'm going to say. Leave a like on the video as well, um, as commenting that. And uh, yeah, probably in the next couple of videos, I'm going to explain what the hell had been going on with me and why I took a year out of the game. But I appreciate all the support and uh, enjoy the video. What's going on, YouTube? Tass here, bringing in you my first video in a year, which is something that I never thought I would ever say. I've got a lot of explaining to do. However, since it's a post commentary, let's get into the video while this is all going on. So, typical new FIFA thing, ladies and gentlemen. The first video is usually a pack opening video. I know it's a little bit boring, very stale after all these years. I feel like pack openings, especially with average mediocre 7.5k packs however we did end up packing a lot of cool stuff so i'm just gonna let it play in the background while i watch it and talk about the odd player that i packed yes we got an icon we got a bunch of 90 plus rated players uh, even a 91 rated player uh, a lot of players worth about 500k plus um and of course the legendary icon so other than that, let me get into, you know, explaining where Tass has been. And if you didn't know, I think I put it at the beginning of the video in a separate little, like, mini video. <clears throat> if you want to enter a giveaway to win a lot of FIFA points, right? A lot. Oh, sorry. FIFA, uh, a gift card that can end up being a lot of FIFA points. If that's what you want to use it for, which I assume you do, as someone who's watching FIFA. Um, comment down below, Tassback. And like the video and you've got a chance to win and i'll let you know in the next video <clears throat> or the one after that because the next video might literally be uploaded tomorrow by the way um of who the winners are It'll be quite a few winners not just one winner so hopefully some of you guys get lucky but other than that let's get into the video so tas i think let's just go with a simple question before i asked some uh everybody on instagram to send me some questions because i was like tas a 20-ish minute postcom this is gonna be tough but um <clears throat> I ended up uh, getting some really cool questions, but I thought, you know, regardless of the question, should probably start with why did you take a year off? And then also, I don't know if you guys realize if you're still here, but the time period as well that I took my time off last year was, um, it was literally like two videos into FIFA 20. So like, it wasn't even one of them that, you know, like halfway through FIFA 20, usually content creators like slow down a little bit. I, I just sort of called it quits in the beginning. I'll be honest with you. Um, it's quite a deep answer. We got some time here, so everything's okay. Um, I just wasn't enjoying it. Uh, I don't... I wasn't enjoying both competing and making content anymore. And I think I spoke about it a little bit in my video that's coming out next. <clears throat> which is uh, Draft Rewards, by the way. A million special packs. Uh, opened all at once with live commentary and we packed some sick stuff. It's actually unbelievable um, Is this oh, I thought that was the icon um, so Yeah, in that I spoke about it a little bit, but I just haven't been enjoying competing and then over the years I've been enjoying competing for a while, but content I could always say like was actually something that inside I enjoyed um, Even if sometimes it didn't feel like Taz you never really uploaded like super duper consistent um, I think that was more a pro player issue than me being a content creator and not wanting to do that, if that makes any sense. I feel like pro players across the years that have been content creators for you guys uh, have had consistency issues. So that wasn't one of them where I wasn't enjoying it. It was just one of them where... It was just one of them where I just... It was just... Um, yeah, it was one of them where I don't even know where I was actually, I've actually forgotten. This is what happens when you don't make a video for a long period of time, by the way. And there is our first 90 rated player, uh, but we're going to get a lot better at rated players. Not rated players, but a lot better value players in packs in the future. Now, you know what part of it is? I'm losing my track of thought because I'm waiting for the icon to pop up, because I know the icon's at the beginning of the video. Um, 
And it's like, whatever topic I'm on, I'm going to have to switch. But my point was, um, I always enjoyed making content. And in preview, uh, as of recent, I'd say kind of in FIFA 19-ish. But like more FIFA 20, I just, I wasn't enjoying making content either. So it was one of them where I'm never going to force feed myself to do something if I'm not enjoying it. That's just how I am. Um, like, I could have still created content, put on a front. Um... For the whole year of FIFA 20 and just continued this year. But instead, I thought I'd take a break. I never really said as well publicly that I'm going to take a break from making content because I don't enjoy it anymore. Because, um, like, the reality of the situation is <clears throat> we have to be careful with um, how I explain it. But it, I was a bit, you know, it was just a bit dry to me. Everything was just, everything about... Just everything to do with FIFA was just boring me a little bit. And I was thinking, like, Tass, you know what? You're getting up in age a little bit. Could be a bit of that. Could be a bit of... You've been here since the start, and everything's very repetitive to you. But quite a few people have been here since the start. And, um... And here it is, by the way. No, okay. I mean, I thought it was. So I've just given away what kind of icon, potentially, we've gotten. Um... So yeah, I kind of went through that, and then this summer... I kind of got the will back to make content. Uh, so we're going to see how long it lasts for FIFA 21. Hopefully it lasts throughout the season. Um, I'm going to give a strong percentage chance that it's going to last a long period of time. It's a long period of time I'm here on YouTube. At the very least on YouTube. Because this has always been my home. I'm not going to lie. I've never really been a streamer. I want to get into streaming. But I've always been, from day one, YouTube has been the thing. So, here it is. First content video back, realistically, properly, is a YouTube video. And I'm going to be here for a while. We've got some very interesting videos coming up. So, that's really it, really. To put it very easily and quickly, I wasn't enjoying what I was doing anymore. Um, I think that happens with a lot of people. I remember I used to... The, fa uh, my favourite YouTubers. I didn't watch many when I was younger. I still watch a couple now. Like, as in properly watch. But I had some really favourite ones when I was a lot younger. And I remember hearing stuff like this, yeah, I've lost my edge for content, I've lost my love for it. You kind of just watch it and you're like, you don't get it. Or I didn't get it, sorry, is what I'll say, I'm not going to speak for other people. I didn't get it. Um, but as being in the shoes, it just... I think it's a combination of competing and content made me lose my love for content. Um, because competitively as well, I lost my... Uh, uh, but it's been a while. Uh, it's one of them things I've kind of kept to myself pros around some that I speak to regularly kind of know I just haven't been locked in on competitive FIFA for a, for a while uh, probably stemming back to realistically probably like since Barca I'd say since Barca or FIFA 18 I really enjoyed that Barcelona event as much as weird stuff was happening at the event in terms of stuff that you guys don't even know about but um that event was really cool. I'd say after that, or probably Manchester, I lost my, just strictly competing, it was like, ugh. You know, when you put, if I'm just, if you just click your fingers and I get put in the setting of, I'm sat there competing in a major tournament, that's enjoyable to me. But the whole process of uh, playing the game every day to get better against pros and um, the practice, the grind, the part that's meant to, there's meant to be a part of you that enjoys that stage of like getting better, improving, etc. And I kind of lost it. And then also the part of like every day having to come on and play. I mean, I didn't, it was just, it just wasn't the same. So I kind of had to take a step back and I was just kind of hoping one day it would come back. And I'm not going to lie, competitively, let's like switch topics, competitively, my drive is here a little bit more. Now, I'm trying to think why like now because as i said to you it's been since barca that's a long period of time why did it not come back in fifa 19 why did it not come back in fifa 20 um i don't know and i know that there's going to be some people watching this that are going to be like oh this guy's just saying this is this by the way where is he i did pack him by the way i don't know what's going on at the moment um or did i miss him i don't know i think i don't think we've missed him yet but some people can be like oh he's just saying this because his results haven't been so good since Paris, like his results ain't been so good. I don't know what that voice is, by the way. Um, but that's kind of cap because in FIFA 19, I did make a World Cup, which was like top 16 on the leaderboard, and I was, I was, God knows where I was on that game, like as well. 
So like, this has got nothing to do with good results, bad results. I'm just a very, and by the way, that pool's very nice. That's like 200 plus K, um, especially at the time. I think it was like 300 plus K. Um, if he had four star skills, I think is the thing he's missing, he would have cost a crazy, crazy number. Um, however, yeah, that's kind of the situation. So um, I'd say what's really changed, because that, that to, to follow up this story, that's what's important. I don't really know, boys. Like, I think it's one of them where a long period of time has passed by and a part of it, low key, is not, you know, the part of, oh, he's saying this because results have gone bad, but the reaction, a bit of it is low key based on results in terms of, I always said, oh, 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 there he is. The best manager in the world, by the way. Best manager in the world. For me. For me, in my opinion. Don't get on me, Liverpool fans. I feel you. I feel you. Premier League champions. Back-to-back 100-point -back clubs. Almost. Ish. Because you got like 99 the year before, right? Where City won it. Or something like that. Um, yeah, for me, best, play best manager in the world. You know, it's one of them. You're just thankful an icon comes out in these moments. And you just take it. But it's one of them where you're like, oh my god. Imagine if it was Torres, more value, etc. But we take that. Um, but what I was saying is, I think in terms of why it's come back, is probably, you know, I always, I think I said this, I always said, I don't think I ever said this publicly, but if I saw myself being a very mediocre, average pro at the game, like, after a while, I'm calling, I'm, I'm hanging it up. Because I got into competitive FIFA, thinking I was one of the best, not knowing, but like putting the effort in, thinking I was one of the best. And then I always said like, uh, if like, if I'm not sat there playing in big quarterfinals, semifinals, etc., the odd occasion going further than that. If I'm not sat there competing at the highest level, like I'm sat there getting destroyed in the first round against a pro, there's no shame in it or whatever. But for me, it's like one of them internal things where it's like, how long can that go on for before I'm like, I gotta go. So, there's a part of me that that happened, and even in FIFA 21, listen, we don't know yet how bad or good of a video game this is going to be. It's probably not going to be a great video game, FIFA 21, right? It's probably not going to be a great one. Um, you can just already tell early on if a game's going to be great. It's just not going to be great, and obviously the next question you guys are going to have is, Tass, how do you know this? What makes you think this? probably answer these things in a later dated video especially because i have more game time i've only played like 100 games at the moment um so give me that uh, i mean sorry that i think is fair for me to already say it's not gonna be a great one but even with that being said i've seen deficiencies in my game that i'm trying to work on um which you know there's no point going in detail but these kind of deficiencies have been there for a couple years now like three-ish years, and I never bothered uh, improving them. Now, in order to improve them, you have to practice on them because there's certain functions that you haven't learned in the game, whether it's a skill move, for example, or whether it's the way you're defending. Um, for me, it's more on the other end. Uh, the final part around an opponent's box, I always had a weakness where I was always having to do really complicated stuff to get in, and I felt like people... Other people were just carving a lot easier based on knowing a certain manoeuvre that I just wouldn't equip into my arsenal. And it's one of them where I knew it was good, but I just never bothered. I couldn't be bothered to learn it. That might sound shocking, but this year, that's not going to happen. So hopefully that has some type of impact on results. We'll see. Maybe nothing will change, but uh, I, my point is I'm going to put the effort in. So hopefully... Um, I see something on paper change a little bit, and hopefully uh, Tass is doing a little bit better than he has been recently. Although when I say that, like I did have like a decent small periods in like FIFA 19 where things were going okay, like the World Cup, but I mean more like a totality of a whole season. I haven't been happy with what's been going on for myself, so we'll see what happens with that anyway. But that's really about it for that. I think I kind of answered why I'd been away, what had sort of been going on with me. And yeah, oh yeah, and you guys, I don't know if I answered this, my brain doesn't really remember, but might be the typical thing of Tass, why didn't you say any of this publicly? I just sort of, there's some things that I don't see the point in saying publicly. 
I, f I don't like to make... I don't want to come across like excuses, so I kind of just went blank for a year. I didn't want to say this is affecting me, this is affecting me, and then get the whole sob story of like people feeling sorry. There's nothing. This isn't so deep to feel sorry for, do you know what I mean? So it was one of them where a lot had been going on mentally about the game and content creation, and I just. Everything just sickened me, to be fair. Uh, everything about. Just a lot of things about the community as well, and just how it integrates with one another. Very negative, super negative. Like, in my opinion, the FIFA community. Uh, past the banter level, bro. I'm literally, I love banter, but it's like at a point, like I'm seeing it for other people as well. It just got to a point where it's past banter level, it's just too much, and I just, I don't know, it just, everything was just a bit annoying. But whether them things change or not, as for the like love for content creation and etc., and me wanting to compete, I'm here. So we'll see what happens this year, right? That's what all I'll say. We will see what happens. Anyway. Let me dive into some of these questions, right? We've got, I'm looking, about seven minutes left in this video. We packed, by the way, some sick players left. I know you're probably thinking, listen, Tass, I've only seen a Pep Guardiola here. That's realistically worth something quite good. Don't you worry. We're getting some uh, situations on the go. So, hmm. Question. I'm just going to go for some, like, quickies. Barbecue based on a pizza, yes or no? Personally, never had it. I would, hap I would happily... I would never not recommend that. I think that would be alright, to be fair. Personally, if you're going to ask a personal question now, I'm just straight normal guy on a pizza. Uh... Okay, yep, no, we've answered that question. Do you enjoy being a pro people? Favourite team to watch play apart from Arsenal? Um, wow. I was in awe by Munich last year, right? And obviously, you guys are going to be like, yeah, yeah, that's a good pick. No, no, no. Not just the Bayern Munich that we saw in uh, coronavirus era. I'm talking about... Do you remember that game against Tottenham? Early in the season. Ah, Tottenham. Lord have mercy. Like, maybe part of it, it was just me loving the fact that Tottenham were getting shredded. But um, it was dirty what Gnabry was doing. I couldn't believe it. It was so direct and to the point And just everything was green and everything was so ferocious. And... When they're already like 4-1 up, like we still want more, we still want more. It was like, you could tell you're witnessing a great team. And by the way, apologies there. When you open so many FIFA points, there's times where you don't see a walkout for a long time and then you finally get one, but I've already pressed A and there we go, Huming Son. Literally 400k by the way. So that was a really good pull. So yeah, I'll probably go Bayern. Liverpool, very good to watch. I love watching Pep's City. Not recently, in terms of not just because they're not winning as much. I feel like they've lost an edge in their attack, in their final third. I don't know if that's just me. Maybe it's the Aguero injury. Who knows? But uh, City for sure, usually. Um, Patrick Vieira or Burkamp? Vieira. Vieira for me. Uh, it's tough. That's tough. Because Burkamp's like kind of that underrated guy, I feel like, personally. What club would you have supported if Henri never played for Arsenal? You want to know the story? I'll tell the story. I'll keep it as quick as possible. I see we've got like four minutes left. Um, in primary school, everyone's like picking their teams. And um, before you say like, why are you picking your teams? Listen, I didn't have that family rule where it's like, listen, son, I support da da da. So you got to support da da da. It wasn't one of them. It was an open one. It was more my dad was like waiting for me to pick, right? So. We're in school, like we're talking like year three, four. I've got flashback memories of this. And I remember like kids are coming in. Um, I'm obviously brought up in West London. So Chelsea were coming of age. A lot of people were Chelsea fans. It was like the odd Man United fan, but you had to pick a London club, right? And I'll be honest with you, before I ever saw Thierry Henry play for the first time, by the way, and that's a very good ball. Before I ever saw Thierry Henry play for the first time, you know who the player was that impressed me the most? Jam Franco Zola. For Chelsea was my like he was the I saw him before I saw Omri and he was my he was the guy I looked up in awe at that point when I first watched Zola compared to any player I'd watched at the time um and then Chelsea played Arsenal in a game at Stamford Bridge I saw Omri walking out of the tunnel and at that point I knew it was over just the aura he was carrying him with himself outside uh, coming out of the tunnel and then the stuff he was doing on the pitch it was over at that point but Zola whoever knows you know that boy was uh, pfft, like an Iniesta with more like direct flair for me. 
kinda, a little bit. Unbelievable. Um, so probably Chelsea. It would have been Chelsea. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, basically, if I didn't see on replay, I maybe would have been a Chelsea fan. How disgusting is that? Looking back on that now, but things happen for a reason. How much longer would you like? Would you see yourself competing in FIFA? Couple more years. Couple more competitive years minimum. Um, I actually thought, like a couple years ago, like. Whenever we go to next gen, I'll play a year of that and then I'll quit. But uh, now nah, I'm giving it a couple more years. Like we, I gotta get, I gotta try get an interesting result, uh, a really good result again. I can't live on doing well at like the first tournament and then not having another memory since. A very good memory, of course. There's memories of like making a World Cup and stuff like that since then, but a very good memory. I need to make a very good memory if it's possible. So a couple more years will probably give me the chance to do that. Hopefully. Um, thoughts on the Partey transfer? Oi. Arsenal, by the way, something's changing here. It started with Arteta, also the uh, the boardroom, you know, Kroenke, I'm not too sure, but the Edu, director situation, stuff going on there. Partey, world-class player, exactly what we needed. Took us 14 years to try replace the type of prototype that Patrick Vieira was. So it's going to be unbelievable. And that right there, he's a very good player. Even if he might not see me at the moment for United. Very, very good player. Um, if you had to pick a teammate for an upcoming tourney, who would it be based on a combination of talent, banter, and free effort put into the, into learn new game mechanics? Good answer for each point and overall teammate. That's a sick question. Still love the vid, especially last year when you ruined people with Neymar. Did I? Fair enough, mate. Fair enough. Thank you. Okay, so we got a minute. Talent. Hashtag Tom. Banter. It's the tip. It's like the easy answer is Harry, but I'm also gonna do like a thing where it's like there's somewhat of a possibility. Um, so I'm gonna skip Harry. I'm gonna go to Kurt. Kurt. I know he's banned at the moment, but Kurt. Effort into learn new the new in-game mechanics. Probably fully. Fully is uh, a, a big grinder, and whenever there's new mechanics, he'll be there. So yeah, that's for each bullet point. That's off the top of my head. If I went in detail, nah, I think I'm, I'm locking in them answers. We Gucci. So, anyway boys, if you did enjoy the video, please leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. I'm going to let you guys know from the comment section after this video has aired uh, who wins some of these gift cards. I'm going to let you know in the next video, which will be uploaded either tomorrow or the day after. But uh, yeah, anyway, let me do the outro. Uh, I forgot what the outro is. I don't know, but 